Divaniyam. The Divaniyam is the ruins of a once beautiful structure that was called as the Jala Mahal. It is situated to the west of the Zanana Masjid, about 300 meters into the fort. The Divaniyam was called as the Jala Mahal on account of some screens of trellis work which were done in the early 19th century. Sadly, these are not visible today. The outer wall of the Divaniyam is preserved up to a considerable height on the southern side but it rises only to a few feet on the other three sides. There are two entrances, one to the east and the other in the west, but they do not face each other. Excavations by the Archaeological Department of Hyderabad have exposed the original pavement of the eastern entrance. The masonry of its outer and inner gateways, which must have comprised large blocks of carved stone, has all disappeared. Perhaps they have been taken away for use in modern buildings. The entrance on the outer side measures 9 feet in width but on the inner side it has become wider owing to the decay of the side walls at this end. Enter through the entrance and you will reach the court of the building which measures 166 by 133 feet in dimensions. It's divided into two parts. The main hall of the building which was probably used for public audiences is on the southern side. You can approach it by taking five steps from the pavement. The hall is divided into three apartments by rows of pillars with six in each row. The total length of the hall is 109 feet. These pillars of the hall were probably made of wood but they have all perished. However, the stone pedestals on which the wooden shafts rested are intact. The walls of the hall were originally decorated with panels of tile work some of them which have survived and are currently being restored in museums. The colors of these tiles are faded because they have been buried in debris for a number of years. It is said that two of these tiles were moved initially to a mosque in Beter, and later to a museum in Britain. One of the panels had a calligraphic text in the form of a svastika with the name Ali, the son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad, repeated four times in the Qufic script. These tiles were probably made by Persian craftsmen. In the hall was placed the Takathe Firozat or the turquoise throne. It is said that this throne exceeded in splendor and intrinsic value compared to every other throne in the world. At the back of the hall, you will find the remains of a room, among which the middle one may have been for the king. In this hall, the accessions of Bahamani kings were celebrated with a magnificent display of their opulence and power. It is also in this hall that foreign embassies brought rare and costly presents from their respective countries for the sovereigns of this dynasty. The floor had mosaic design comprising geometrical patterns such as hexagons and stars. There are two more rooms behind the king's chamber which belong to the ministers. The remains of walls in the south indicate an upper story which had an arched screen built along its sides. It is said that the Bahamani kings used to give audience to invited dignitaries here at this mahal.